Welcome. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you and I can see you. So Very good. There are two options to share. You can either do add source if you have a file locally, or you can just do a, a screen share. Which yeah, I'm going to share my screen. Um, give me a second. Okay, it should be there. Perfect. Good. All right. Well, Fernando, right. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to you for an update on the Mentored Projects Initiative. Great. So hello, everyone. I'm Fernando. I'm one of the uh, Mentor Project Initiative uh, co-leader. And well, I'm here today to talk about uh, what we are doing, what we want to do. So everyone involved in Fedora that is attending to this uh, Fedora release party uh, can catch up with us and understand what is our work on the Fedora community. So in essence, what is the Mentor Projects Initiative? Uh, it is a long-term goal. Uh, in, in our long-term goal is that interns and mentors know that it's expected uh, of them entering a Fedora Mentor Project, and also they have a smooth onboarding process. But in order to get that, uh, we need to do some uh, stuff. Like we are trying to provide a community space for mentors and, and mentees to connect with each, with each other. Uh, we are creating new role handbooks uh, to onboard and guide participants. In, in essence, uh, if you are not familiar with the word, a uh, role handbook is kind of uh, uh, some, some uh, documentation that uh, can be used as a guidance so you know how to apply to projects, uh, how to communicate with mentees or with your mentors, uh, what you know what is expected from you, uh, it, just to make it easier um, to understand how you can participate with mentor projects. And then um, we plan to advocate uh, the new role handbooks and also the community spaces. So, when we say uh, initiative, it's because this is a community initiative. And that means that a bunch of people from Fedora community, uh, we get together uh, with a common uh, goal, which is this one. And we decided to work on it, uh, asking for support from the Fedora Council. Um, who is involved in the initiative? So the leaders of initiative is Esmeria Go, um, me, uh, Fernando, and then we have an executive sponsor from Council, uh, which is Jenna Sisek. And thank you very much for all your help. Um, it makes much, uh, a lot of sense that uh, Jenna is helping us because she is part of the DEI group. And yeah, this uh, initiative is very related with that uh, area of Fedora. And then we have plenty of collaborators, like the, the whole Fedora Councils and also especially Justin, which is working very close with us. So thank you very much uh, to all of you. Of course, uh, collaborators are also all the mentors and mentees that are participating currently uh, in uh, mentor projects, and also past uh, mentors and mentees that uh, help us providing feedback and so on. Thank you very much, everyone that has been uh, involved, and they uh, all of them have been very supportive. So, okay, what happened already? We are looking. Uh, we, we were looking to a eight months, twelve months plan, and in essence, we met for the first time almost a year ago in August uh, 2023. But uh, to be honest, we didn't propose the initiative to the Fedora project until November. Then uh, in January, we started the application. Fedora project uh, applied to Orishi. Also, we applied later to Google Summer of Code. But unfortunately, uh, we, uh, we were not selected there. And the initiative was officially approved by Council uh, around February 2024. So from that, we uh, conducted some interviews with mentors and mentees around March. Then 
uh, in, April, in April, it was the contributor's deadline. And uh, in a few days, the Orici, uh, the, the Orici internship period is just starting. So good luck to all the mentees and mentors involved. Uh, by June, we plan to have some swag uh, or merchandising prepared for mentors and mentees. And in August, we also plan to do a showcase from mentor projects in Flock conference. Um, in September, we, we expect that the Rishi is ending and we consider that the end of the first iteration. So the idea is that this is going to be a cyclic thing, uh, but it's not going to be an initiative anymore. Um, part of the initiative is to make it happen regularly. And then the other thing is that at the end, in around October, with all the feedback from mentors, mentees, and all the people involved, we will have uh, the role handbooks ready for the next iteration. So ideally for the next iteration of Outreachy, Google Summer of Code, and other programs, um, everyone can uh, use the role handbooks to uh, make their own board uh, smoother for the mentors, mentee, and everyone. So I have an announce, announcement. So as um, Jesse already mentioned uh, in the last talk, uh, in the initial talk, but um, we got three interns uh, for Richie. Uh, we have we had uh, two interns, uh, Tessin Isabella and Rosaline Basse, which are going to be contributing to create an outreach strategy, write documentation, run a marketing campaign, and measure the results. And we also have another intern working on create a gateway from webhooks to federal messaging, which is uh, Mehmet uh, Baran. So welcome, and I wish you luck on this journey. And I hope that uh, after Richie, you have uh, you had a very great, good experience with us, and you keep contributing to Fedora. And I wanted to ask: Have you ever participated in Fedora Mentor? project before as a, a coordinator, mentor, mentee? If so, we want your feedback. Uh, feel free to reach us out in Matrix. Uh, raise my Matrix, or if not, you can uh, join that channel, uh, mentoring project, org. So I think uh, that should be the whole update here. And I want to give some space for questions. And I already got one, but um, to check. Mm -hmm. oh, two. OK, yeah. So I, I got uh, one question even before starting the um, talk. And I wanted to reply to that. The question was basically that, OK, this is a Currently, or Richie, Google Summer of Code is very focused on the students, booming tech, and so on. But what happened with uh, CSAT? Uh, CSAT means that also want to uh, learn something or want to help, but they do, like how they could engage if you are not a student anymore, you have some experience. So um, in Fedora, we have one, one of our objective is that everyone in Fedora is a mentor and also is a mentee. So this is a little bit out of the initiative, but I also want to work on it. And is that I plan to um, create some kind of uh, mentor program inside Fedora for Fedora people. So if you are a sysadmin, for example, uh, that already has some uh, skills, someone from Fedora Infra can uh, take you and show you how to contribute, how to um, move forward uh, with Fedora and, and how to contribute to Fedora. Um, okay, uh, there's one more question. What about non-technical mentor projects? So that's a very good question. Uh, in Fedora, there's uh, a lot of different people and not everyone is technical and the work is also very, very important for us. And they are not uh, out of the uh, loop. They, they can get in. For example, 
uh, we have two, men two mentees in Fedora or Ritchie this year that they are not technical. And all that I said um, before for the, uh, for example, the sysadmin example uh, I provide, you could apply it to someone with experience in design, marketing, legal, whatever uh, skill you have. Uh, it's very probable that we can find a place for you. So if you are not, not a technical person, but you want to contribute and you don't know how to start, feel free to reach me out and we could try to probably fi find something. We will try to find something for you. I'm very sure. More questions? Okay. Doesn't seem so. Yeah, I put a poll there in the chat, which I thought was really interesting about whether people knew that we had a mentored projects program. And of the 17 votes, it's actually been pretty split. Like we got five people who have participated, five people who know about them, four people who at least have heard about it, and then three people so far that this is the very first time that they are hearing about the mentored projects program, Fedora. So I definitely think that's yep. interesting. Uh, but where, uh, uh, just one more time, where can people find out more information or, or follow up on the Mentor Projects program, Fernando? So they can find more information on the uh, wiki page that is uh, on the, um, let me, I can share the link. Um, so I'm going to share the link in the chat. So here is the wiki page for uh, the initiative of mentor projects. And also in the, probably in the matrix room that I already mentioned, mentoring uh, uh, colon federalproject.org. It's a very good place to get in touch with us and yeah, ask your questions about mentor projects and so on. Excellent. Well, Fernando, thank you so much for an introduction and overview of our Mentored Projects program. I'm super excited for us to uh, move forward with the initiative.